holding it out <laughs> that was on purpose welcome back everybody Bounce. to another episode of our review show for episode five babylon, babylon. finally it's babylon <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i get it i was wrong it was home again last week it's now babylon it came eventually <laughs> You know, but we thought about not singing the intro. We thought about singing some of the other music that was part of this episode. Uh-huh. Achy, break your heart. Achy, break your heart. Somebody yeah. didn't know the words. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe, maybe by the end of this episode, it'll come to us. Yeah. I know. I know the achy, break your heart. <laughs> <laughs> What's the part? Blowing up and killing a man? No, yeah, I didn't know that. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. I don't know. If we can have Alan Jackson on the show, then maybe he can help us uh, mm-hmm. sing it. It was Alan Jackson, right? No, isn't that Billy Ray Cyrus? Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's Miley's dad. The internet is now pissed at me. (laughs) Uh, All right. Well, this episode was, uh, I I didn't know what to think about it. No. See, we haven't talked about it yet. Yeah, we, yeah, so we, we don't know what she's thinking. We we do this first here for you guys. Uh-huh. Uh, Her raw reaction. You know, I mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know what to think. Like I had very strong feelings about all the other episodes mm-hmm. thus far. Okay. And this one, I just feel like I was thrown for a loop. Huh. That's interesting. There weren't yeah. the characters that I was used to. I was, it was introduced to new characters. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mulder and Scully are not together. They're like kind of doing their own thing. Like every episode this season. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then Mulder's like tripping balls <laughs> and like, you know, Scully's like believing in talking to people that are in a coma. But she's not uh, scientifically based. Yeah. I right? think I think if you'd seen more of the old series, it wouldn't be so jarring. Uh, they did funny random things. And sometimes. like Mulder's tripped balls like twice before in okay. Field Trip mm-hmm. and Bad Blood. Mm-hmm. He's been like drugged I, or I mean, tripping. He's actually say, been on mushrooms before. Oh. Yeah. They both have. They both have, yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, and maybe we can get in this a little bit later, but I, I liked Mulder hmm. on drugs. Uh, yeah. That <laughs> I was, liked him a lot. That was like my, well, not my favorite, my, one of my favorite parts it of the whole was episode. Very strong. I, I was telling Elise after, I was like, I just feel like for five minutes that Mulder was on drugs and line dancing and sexy cowboy Mulder. Nothing was wrong with the world. Like all of my problems just melted away and everything was just Mulder, cowboy, mushrooms, amazingness. Having a bad day? Watch <laughs> Babylon exactly. episode five. Yeah. Just watch that one scene. Everything Don't will mind just the melt terrorists. away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Skip that part. Just go straight to the Mulder tripping and you'll be all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I mean, all throughout this episode, they, it just seemed like there was just a lot that we that I wasn't ready for as a, as a fan of the show. With are we talking about the the concept, the terrorism, and the the subject matter? Well, I think we can. We're just like we can just keep Everything. blazing past. But let's let's kind of take it back and kind of mm. process through this for everybody. Go back um, to the beginning. Mm. Go back to the beginning. Yeah. You know, I I think one thing that was jarring for me is. Um, as a new fan, I didn't connect the dots with the old episode, but you girls seem to think that there was a lot of callbacks. Oh, there that were. I, they started out pretty off the bat with well, a callback yeah, to the pilot. Exactly. In the first scene with Miller and Einstein mm-hmm. in the office, what um, a dumb there was so. Name. <laughs> I I'm mean, sorry. <laughs> Miller's the worst. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Yes, there were two uh, callbacks to the pilot, um, and I like just about died when Scully said, "No one down here, but the I FBI know, is most unwanted." Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I look, yeah, I had a moment because um, that's the first thing Mulder ever said to Scully yeah. in the whole show. I've been waiting ever. 23 oh. years to say this. Yeah, and she said, "I've been waiting 23 in the pilot. years." Yeah. Okay, and he's like, "How did it feel?" pretty good (laughs) yeah that was kind of amazing and then they talked about her thesis which is like one of the first things they ever talked about when they met all Mm -hmm. right yeah so there were there were callbacks to the pilot and like you know reintroducing like a younger version of Mulder and Scully and I don't know I I got it like I I I went with it I felt like it was funny that they were so exactly like them like I was kind of expecting like Einstein to be the believer and Miller to be Mm -hmm. the skeptic like to mix it up a little yeah so I was I was a little surprised that they were like so exact but like I went with it and I liked it you liked it yeah Yeah. Einstein I I mean yeah I get the basis of her being you know the scientist and medical Mm -hmm. doctor but I feel like she was a little amped up sassier version of Scully yeah she was like a little meaner she was definitely (laughs) meaner than Scully ever was yeah I think um, that that's how Scully would be today, maybe. Like, if yeah. she, if they were still, like, if they, I don't know. Yeah. If they were just starting just out, started. like, being partners. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think one reason we like Scully so much is she's had all these years with Mulder mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. to pick up these Mulderisms mm-hmm. of, you yeah. know, that the, I've been waiting 23 years to say that. Yeah. Would mm-hmm. she say that just because she's, and because she's more seasoned and she's, like, 
has a more lighter tone about her job and what she does or yeah. because she's much. been with Mulder for so long. Yeah. Both, I think. I think they've like mellowed each other out so yeah. much and like yeah. now they're just so comfortable I think with that show each other. too at the end, I know this is jumping right to the end, but when um, obviously they showed Einstein getting jealous and possessive over Miller, yeah. uh-huh. but then when it gets brought up on the scene on the deck and um, Scully's just so chill, like what was yeah. that about? She doesn't care that he ran off with the other agent. She's not threatened. Yeah. She, they just have like they get each other and they've yeah. been through way too much. But to back in to, the day, but back in the day, yeah. she would have been jealous. Sisigy, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Or uh, Poffridge's. Yep. So mm-hmm. we've Poffridges? seen yep. other sides of her, but they've yeah. matured to a point where right. I think that speaks to their commitment and love and like yeah. you know togetherness. They don't yeah. get threatened by yeah other characters. I so agree. Yeah. Like no, that. it's definitely like an, they've evolved mm-hmm. in the time that we haven't been with them. Yeah. Well, I think there was a lot to be jealous of. I mean, immediately they just like introduced these two other characters and it was like, all right, let's split up teams. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I was saying, I don't know how you felt about this, but like, I thought it was weird that like, okay, so I felt like Mulder had such a good reason for going to, or at least like a clearly explained reason for going mm-hmm. to Einstein. Like he needed a medical doctor. He didn't want to involve Scully. He didn't want to tell Scully because she'd just been through this thing with her mom. Mm-hmm. But like Scully never really explained why she went to Miller and like, and why she didn't tell Mulder at all. I, you that, mean versus Einstein and versus Mulder. Like why she yeah. chose him over anyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was kind of, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. And like, it, even if she went to Miller, like why wouldn't she bring Mulder in on it? True. Like I don't know why she didn't totally make sense to me. Maybe I mean it could literally just be a plot device to set them yeah. up on these two separate I, I paths. I think that's probably what know? it was, and it, I mean it didn't bother me that much. I yeah. just kind of had that thought in the moment where I was like, "Oh, Mulder had like a clear reason, and Scully really didn't say mm-hmm. anything." That's true. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I thought that was interesting, yeah, but I but agree. yeah, clearly they were trying to make it, you know, Mulder and the new female agent, and right. Scully and the new male agent, and like they were fun. I liked it. I did too. You know, I mean, I, I, I get pissed about Mulder and Scully being separated so much. At least they made still up for it. Still bothers me, but yeah, the last scene the made last up for scene it a definitely little bit. Made but it still it. bothers me that they don't go on like any casework together anymore. This may have been the most they were apart. No, I don't know. A big chunk. They were only together in three scenes. The opening scene, Wear the Monster. scene at the hospital. Where Monster, they were only together in three scenes, I think. Okay. Yeah. So it's on tie. Yeah, yeah. Very monster for lack of togetherness. I know, but Aww. at least this one we got some hand-holding. <laughs> That's Yeah. True. That's Jumping true. ahead, I know, ladies. I know. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Jumping to the mushy, <laughs> okay, stuff. Let's go to the mushy stuff. You know, it was Valentine's Day. We did put out the most shipper moments. Yeah, you can go see that in the link. Yes, somewhere. Go watch around it. there <laughs> uh, if you want some of the mushiness for uh-huh. Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but this this was definitely a a big um like cre- like storytelling storytelling wise uh, a big turn they, they definitely kind of made it a more modern theme mm-hmm. with terrorism i thought that was yeah. a very bold choice yeah i think it was a necessary choice you think so yeah i think it was like so many people have talked about like how are they going to update this show how are they going to make it modern bring it into like a post 9 11 world and i think that yeah i think that including terrorism like really did it and i think it was just interesting because like the actual case they were solving wasn't paranormal for right. once but the methods oh, yeah, they were using to solve it. it were. That's true. Yeah. Not even the fans, I think. It wasn't just the fans talking about bringing it up to a modern world. Even the creators the, talked about like yeah, how and the, the critics too. In, yeah, mm-hmm. in, a, in a, a world after, you know, what happened. Right, um, yeah. And 9-11. So I feel like they maybe felt like they should address that in yeah. some sense. I mean, they even showed it on the TV in the airport. They, the showed they showed 9-11. Oh, oh, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah know, they, did, they did. On yes, the TV. So yes. I feel like that was very purposeful. Yeah. Um, and uh, I thought it worked. I mean, it's not like everyone's favorite thing to watch. I know it's hard to watch that sometimes, you know, but. Um, but it's relevant. It's and relevant. It was interesting. Yeah. And it brought up a lot of feelings. And I mm-hmm. think it had a lot of social commentary. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All these episodes are like really feely. They tug at the heart. They do. Yeah. Like they I go through so much. Yeah. So every episode, like maybe more so than I think the original show, you had a lot of breathers. You know, you'd have many mm-hmm. episodes where it was just. Epi- like you know mysteries and yeah. monsters and you could kind of breathe but this is all like heavy it is <laughs> heavy yeah. stuff every episode huh. is like very important like it they're is. always like no i don't want to call them like throwaway episodes but they're always episodes that like you know in the old show yeah. that like you don't remember as much like yeah. they were just simple monster right. of the weeks so you don't really need to go back and watch them to like understand anything yeah. else but mm-hmm. the, these episodes all feel like they're very vital sure. well i mean yeah. i feel like we got to pack it in i mean with only yeah. six yeah. episodes really got to get it going oh that's accurate i i will say like Props to the makeup people for the oh makeup gosh. job and the special effects. It was like yeah. none of it was Guy. CG where like other other movies and things like they've chosen to like make people part of them CG and like mm-hmm. their mouth mm-hmm. is like real, but then the rest of them are not. And like, like 
definitely like props to... you're talking about a bombing victim right yeah oh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i should be clear yeah, yeah. Yes. but like half his head was missing I know. and like yeah, the great. first time i showed him i i gasped out loud like i, yeah. I went whoa because uh-huh. it's it was so striking like mm-hmm. with the scars and he and he had only had half an arm mm-hmm. and i thought he would be like more damaged from having a bomb blow up on his chest but, but he didn't well still. he didn't blow yeah, up his bomb that's why oh is that oh i just yeah. totally missed that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's a yeah. big i think that's a major his, part yeah, of the commentary his mom revealed that like he she he came to her in mm-hmm. dreams and revealed uh that he didn't he he saw the faces of the people mm. around him he couldn't do it at the last minute so the yeah. bombs blew up around him but he didn't blow up his own bomb which i, I guess is why he survived yeah for a while i feel like you yeah. would not be in any pieces if yeah he blew up a bomb oh yeah yeah he chest. would yeah mm-hmm. he would be all over the place he would be pink mist they called it in Grey's Anatomy. So they called it in Grey's Anatomy. There's a term for a very, an exploded yeah. a very person. Di- the bomb guy, Kyle Chandler. Called a it very different monster. after show. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> what did you think about their each individual methods of communication with this guy? So, Mul- so Mulder had the whole like we can talk to him. Yeah. Through like just magic mushrooms. Yeah, magic yeah. mushrooms. Which and then Scully was like, we me. can just talk to him. Like, yeah. Let's just talk with him. Scully's, about, right? Scully's method made somewhat more sense to me and like it kind of reminded me of biogenesis when Mulder was in a coma Mm -hmm. and they like used Mm -hmm. kind of like brainwave I mean he was kind of awake but they were using brainwaves like he was predict his brainwaves were predicting what they were going to ask him and stuff like that um yeah it reminded me a little bit of old episodes so I felt like that was a little bit more grounded in like what I'm familiar with and she just saw her mom respond to her brother's voice yeah from a coma that's true that's true she literally saw that work last week yeah whenever x12 time yeah but like I don't the magic mushroom signs thought was it didn't totally make sense but i'm but so he glad didn't that even we use did them i know i'm so confused I, how that happened i know i yeah Just a religious i guess experience. that's really the x-files yeah like the X-Files. everybody huh. what was your take on it put that in the comments below because i think we're all still all over the place as far as how it was magic mushrooms mm-hmm. on it was like affected him but it was really a placebo mm-hmm. or at least that's what einstein told right yeah uh-huh. some people him. we were watching with were like i think it really was and we were yeah. like but she just kept saying it was a placebo like uh-huh. she, you know when she said it in front of skinner we're like oh she's covering yeah. but like she said, it to, she miller. said it to miller who i feel like she if they're trying to, to be Mulder and scully yeah they would yeah. be honest with each other so yeah. i think it was a placebo but then i don't I, I think maybe, yeah, they were trying to, like, imply that Mulder can have this, like, religious experience, like, yeah. like Scully has kind of had in the past, sure. and Mulder never really has because he's super not religious, so it has to be, like, a psychic or an alien mm-hmm. or something for Mulder, but this one was, you know, different for And him. they bookended his religious experience with him hearing the bells or the yeah, whatever the, that the was. Trumpets. The trumpets. Yeah. So oh, I feel yeah. like that tied yeah. it into maybe yeah. he really is going through like a spiritual metamorphosis. Right. And, and she didn't hear them in the end, she right? She didn't hear right. them. Okay. She was he, just yeah. like, what, is, just, what are you listening okay. to? Mm-hmm. So that's like, what I thought. I think maybe that's what the episode is saying. Yeah. Well, they're experiencing this, yeah. you know, weird <laughs> whatever i don't know why the religious experience yeah. included line dancing but <laughs> i'm oh, glad that, it did that part of the vision with cigarette smoking man on the boat uh-huh. that was just creepy disjointed and, and creepy and interesting weird. Yeah. yeah it was very strange the music yeah. choice was so weird i loved the music choice yeah was, i loved all the music choices. i mean it's not it, like muppets like groaning about rowing a boat <laughs> didn't it like angry muppets I, now i'm gonna I have to go back with that in my mind and watch the angry muppets <laughs> yeah, on a boat that's different i didn't think about that <laughs> it did it sounded like that muppet song i'm not i was never a big okay. muppets person well, okay <laughs> i you believe guys, you though you know i believe you about, yeah right? sure you we're know. picking up what you're throwing you know. down yeah <laughs> number three commentary you know right <laughs> I thought, though, I was saying this release that, like, the use of music in the episode was so different because in Mm -hmm. the old show, we really, like, almost never heard actual music. Like, we heard Mark Snow. Well, this is a continuation of last week where we had the the music with the werewolf and the the were-monster. Last week. That was a couple of weeks ago. Well, okay. Um, no, last uh-huh. week we had the the music when somebody was getting murdered, the really upbeat music, which we yeah. did oh, have once Well, that's once what I meant. Before. Sorry, the, the garbage, yeah. garbage man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I meant. Yeah. We did have that once before, but like actual, like especially for the last scene, like a song from the radio for X-Files never happened. Twice like, before. What? Twice before. Twice before what? You said the modern song twice before. They had music playing during like a scary episode. Oh, what else? They did Twilight Time in uh, Kill Switch. Oh, yeah, I guess. But that wasn't totally. Well, it was kind of all. That was like on a disc, though. It wasn't like the song in the background. Are you talking about how Miller like had it in his headphones and like when he took his headphones off, it like 
I stop. mean, that was we, different that too. But I just meant like the last song was like a pop song from the radio that mm. I've heard so many times yeah. already. And like, that's so un X Files oh, to mean. use like, well, to use music at all, really, just during yeah. a regular scene, but to use like a popular Something song. That's not original. It was so, words. yeah, it was mm-hmm. so different. And I mean, I liked it. I, I was totally too. into it. it. It also felt like, a way of modernizing the show yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, but it but this fun. song was perfect. I know. Yeah, I was like, as yeah, when me. I heard the song, I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna like this scene. <laughs> and Mulder and Scully are together in this great big world, and I just, I yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Back to the middle. The, the mushy feelings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I, th- I think we should talk about this last scene. Oh, okay. Sure. Because I think it it's it's carrying us into what is going to be the season finale. I know. I know, <laughs> ladies. It's gonna be okay. But um, I mean, for what what the previews are setting up to be like a really like <laughs> major like intense, a movie intense, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, are, we have theories that it's going to be a longer than <laughs> no. longer, dreams. Yeah. No, like, yeah, deluded dreams. Like, exactly. It's more like <laughs> delusions. Two hours. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what we want. We don't actually think it's going to be that. I think mm-hmm. I would have heard by now if it was. Yeah. Sadly. So, so the first question I have is okay. So Mulder and Scully are at this cabin of molders but what is that house they used to live there together yeah i, the I didn't know movie. that in the in the second movie whoa they used to live I there just together heard the trumpets yeah <laughs> did I hear the trumpets <laughs> yes. or is it just me that was a computer but they didn't hear it okay yeah so oh, we, we don't have to worry about in it our ears. Yeah, it's uh, from the we're computer. having a religious experience <laughs> 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 um, yes in the second movie when we found them uh six years after they yeah. had left the x-files and the fbi um they were living in this house together okay. and that's the house in the first episode mm-hmm. where scully says it's nice for you to get out of that house every once in a while mm-hmm. and Mulder's like it certainly was good for you so she like left him alone in that I house see. yeah so that's like his little his little cottage in the middle of nowhere which seems to be very close to all the action for being in yeah, the middle of nowhere yeah, yeah exactly yeah. she's always just like but it popping was, by it was really cute just to see them like on a porch together and like walking around holding hands like we never saw anything like that it was so comfortable and sweet yeah I just loved an it. afternoon right? stroll they were just like an old married couple but not boring no no not at all and not old either of so, course yeah. so as soon as Mulder took Scully's hand and said take a walk with me Scully what was your first thoughts Elise go um, what were you I thinking was going to happen? Oh, well, no, I didn't think far ahead. When a shipper moment's happening like that, I don't start thinking. I just start yeah. feeling, you know, that old yeah. tender feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I I was more like, do I focus on the position of their hands or do I listen to what they're saying? <laughs> what? Well, I like to see if they're holding hands like this oh, they were or if this. their fingers are intertwined, they're which I like better. Thing. I know they were doing the intertwined of your church <laughs> steeple week. thing. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> um, yes, they were, I like that they had their fingers intertwined and I like to make a note of that kind of a thing. It was nice. Um, and that sometimes takes me out of the dialogue for a minute, but you know, I, I stuck with it mostly. Yeah. <laughs> but we both were saying like while they were talking and they turned to face each other and they were just looking like so deeply at each other and they were talking about love, and love hate. overcoming hate mm-hmm. and everything and I just like my heart started beating out of my chest because I thought they were gonna kiss like they, it just seemed like it was building to that and like I don't know why like it's not like I've not not seen them kiss in the show before but like I just like I had a moment like my heart was pounding I was like fanning myself <laughs> I was like I was about to be kissed by my beloved like Your know, bae. yeah my bae First kiss. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought Mulder was gonna propose Oh, I, yeah, I thought no, the episode no, was going to end with him on never. one knee. Oh, geez. I, I honestly don't think they'll ever, ever, ever either. get married. Too They're just, yeah, exactly. They're mm-hmm. not the type. Never going to happen. I was hopeful. That's what I, I thought was going to happen. I don't know if I'd want to see them get married. No? I don't I can't know. Really picture exactly. a wedding. As like It'd be weird. cigarette smoking man is like the, her away. <laughs> the priest. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That wedding would not have very many people at it. Skinner just getting yes, really yeah. drunk and embarrassing yeah. everybody. I would love to see drunk Skinner. Oh, my God. Season me too. 11 ideas. Uh, yes. Anyone Can we see Skinner on, get on mushrooms? Skinner on drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to ghost ride on that season. Oh, and can we just say that it was so nice to see the lone gunman, but I wish they had a line or two. Yeah. (laughs) It was not, you probably didn't even notice. Like some of the people in the, his hallucination were the three lone gunmen Mm -hmm. who were like his informants through, you know, almost the whole show. Okay. And then they died to Mm -hmm. prevent a terror attack actually in like the third to last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Full circle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of. Um, but yeah, so they, they threw them in there, you know, for fans, but they, they like didn't even talk. I imagine that, yeah, like people yeah. who hadn't seen the show before didn't even realize they were significant. Yeah. Just yeah. flashes. Yeah. I just got started getting weird, deep thoughts that just, I, de- I debunked them. 
but I'll say them anyway. <laughs> because Please share. <laughs> when you're talking about Lungum and I started going off and when we watch this, you'll see my eyes just like gazing <laughs> into nothingness. <laughs> I was listening, but I was thinking. Um, trying to align Mulder's um, non-drug induced visions into some sort of religious experience. And I was going into like, was that like three a, wise a, men? A, a, Okay, no, sure. Never mind. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no, maybe, um, m- maybe like a glimpse of what heaven was to him because the Lungumman were there and it's a big party. But then Skinner was there, who's not dead. So and I, Scully I don't know. wasn't. And Scully there. wasn't. Yeah. There. So are you so are maybe, you saying Mulder, why, Mulder's what? heaven has line dancing? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's just a big party. Like he that's his seventy two version or versions, seventy two yeah. versions or whatever they talked about. Yeah, 72. they did. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, in the I think the Muslim um, idea when you um, I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna be so ignorant if I say this wrong. I do apologize. <laughs> but they even commented on the episode. Um, yeah. When you die, you know, in yeah. the name of Allah, you're supposed to go to heaven and be greeted by oh, 72 versions. 72 okay. versions. Okay. Anyway. I, I remember hearing that, but I don't think I was fully yeah. comprehending. Okay. But just ignore what I said because I. It's, Death and virgins yeah. is. It wasn't heaven because Scully wasn't there. Yeah, exactly. So. His heaven would have Scully. But it's an interesting thought. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, lone gummen were dead. Yes. Are dead. <gasps> you should also talk about how when he woke up, you, you, you're the one who, who oh, realized it was this. A, yeah. It was um, a throwback. A callback <laughs> to um, Triangle when mm-hmm. Mulder wakes up from his whatever that was <laughs> journey Time into the travel, past. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He acts like it was a dream. It's a, yeah. it's a total recreation of the Dorothy um, waking up scene and um, was the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah when she says well, you were yeah. there and you were there. Yeah, and he, he tells Skinner, Skinner like you were there. You were yeah, there, and he mm-hmm. like points at him. And yeah, I think. Um, but yeah, it, we he did the same thing in this episode. Yeah. It was very, awesome. Very yeah, it was similar. fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like there's reasons to rewatch this over and over and over. If oh, you yeah. have missed any of these episodes, you can catch up for free on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Got and all Fox. of the com. and Fox.com mm-hmm. have all of the newest episodes free. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to put in your name or your mm-hmm. sex or <laughs> any of that. <laughs> so, just to wrap this thing up, uh, coming out of this episode, going into the next episode, w- any expectations? Any any anything that stands out that seems exciting i want Mulder and scully to have like time together yeah time together and like i want i want something where like one of them is in danger and the other one has to like be extremely protective and concerned about Mm -hmm. that person like we i don't care which way it goes really but like i feel like that's what i've missed so far and since the next episode seems so dramatic and like a lot of stuff is going down and there's like an illness or something i feel like I want like concerned Mulder or Scully. Maybe a good old fashioned kidnapping. Is oh it, yeah, yeah. Something, you might, yeah. It seems like you're gonna get something. I mean, this is like Better. end of the world spaceship yeah, crash. That's God, true. they're gonna this do this happened. to us again, aren't they? They're gonna be like, oh, the Clef world Hanger? is ending, and now uh-huh. bye bye. The show's over. Stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> 2020. Yeah. Files <laughs> torture me. <laughs> Elise, anything you're looking forward to? Oh well, we were just talking about that. So I gotta say, yeah. so we were agreeing on that. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a car ride where they chat about, you know, yeah, whatever. car ride we, with banter. We like seeing mm-hmm. them banter as they mm-hmm. drove through the winding, you know, back yes. roads of Nebraska before yeah. they potentially die from and alien then, DNA. Yeah, yeah, sure. Please have a car have ride. A car ride. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for this one. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to see you guys next week for we're the season finale <laughs> of season, season ten finale. of the new season of X Files. Until then, stay tuned on our Facebook and on our Instagram. All is trust no one but us mm-hmm. uh, and Twitter. I forgot about Twitter. And wish and Sean a happy birthday yes, I was and enjoy that. Yeah, that's that's why birthday. we have cupcakes. Sean's birthday was yesterday. Guys, happy all right, birthday, cheers. Sean. So, uh, cheers. Elise is like already gone. <laughs> Sorry. Cheers. Uh, all right, guys. Cheers. We'll see you guys on the next episode uh, next week. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Don't tell my heart. My Make you break your heart. heart. And that's so that I understand. understand. <laughs> He's good. I got it. I thought you were about to do that thing with the steeple and the ch- children get married in the pans. What? Remember that? Oh, no, no, no. I know about this. That. It's kind of no dirty, actually. You know it? I know that. Well, isn't it like the thing you like do the thing and the. Is it dirty? And the friends and you look in.